Hey, everybody, final thoughts time for Pulsar. 2849, which is brilliant. FYI, this made my top 10 of the year for 2017. Jen and I both absolutely adore it, which is no surprise. It's from Vladimir Suchi, which let me interrupt to apologize to Vladimir and all his fans because of uh, when I in my top 10, when I talked about this and waxed rhapsodic about it, uh, and I mentioned Vladimir by name, everybody jumped on my throat. You're pronouncing it wrong. It's not Suchi, it's Suhi. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. However you pronounce it, Vladimir is a brilliant designer, one of my favorites. I mean, um, Last Will is amazing. Shipyard is insanely good, and this is a phenomenal game as well. Vladimir, he doesn't put out very many games, but when he does, it is something to pay attention to. And what makes this one stand out more than anything else, it is the epitome of the variable setup euro, which is to say, every time you play this game, you are going to piece together a whole bunch of disparate elements that will make the landscape for you to explore and exploit in this game completely different. Um, you cannot use the same strategy time after time. Uh, you have to see what has the galaxy given us and how are we going to leverage it. Now, don't get me wrong, there are still many different paths to victory. Uh, some might call this a point solid game because there's lots of ways you can be dripping points throughout, but uh, there are so many big long-term goals. You can see right from the get-go, hey, when we get to those final rounds, I can see what's going to be going to be really, really valuable. I'm going to plan for that last round from the very, very first. Jen and I absolutely adore that too. Um, but what's going to get in the way of those plans? The brilliant, brilliant dice drafting. I've mentioned in the past, that's my favorite gameplay mechanism of all time. Rolling a big collection of dice and then players taking turn grabbing them. I've seen it done really, really well in several games, but this game adds that brilliant twist of the median. That, um, you know, a six is not always a six. If we roll a whole bunch of high dice, then grabbing high value dice, which are usually better than low value dice, yeah, that's fairly cheap. But if you get a lot of low values and only a few highs, going for those sixes can be backbreakingly expensive um, in terms of where you end up on the engineering track and, oh, what's the other one? Oh, the initiative track. But that becomes, I mean, it's very rare that I've seen a game where um, you're jockeying for turn order has such a big impact on everything else. Uh, because, yeah, you know what? Okay, I'll forget about turn order to be able to get the expensive dice I need. And that's great up until the point where, oh, I can't give that up anymore. Now I have to start hemorrhaging points because I've, I've, you know, I've, I've gone so often for the bird in the hand instead of the two in the bush because this game, like I said, you, you get the setup, you can be thinking from the very first round, right, what do I want my last turn to look like? Um, because you can see all of the technologies laid out in front of you, all combined together in interesting ways that gives you a path for you to plan right from the get-go. It's, it's just an absolute blast. Space comes alive. I love the theme. Actually, I was really surprised. I very much enjoyed the little thematic paragraphs that, and quotes that exist all throughout the um, instruction manual that make uh, that explain what these gyrodynes are and how they pull energy out of a pulsar by, you know, by making them spin faster than the speed of light and all these really, really cool, heady, high-level science fiction concepts put into an absolutely brilliant, I mean, what more do I have to say? The game is phenomenal. It's one of the best of the year, easily. Uh, it's just the right length for us, so much replayability and variability. Fast, fast game and wonderful, crunchy, thinky dice drafting. And you're always building. You're always creating. Every little turn you make in this game is, is a big part of a much bigger plan. Oh, man, I, I'm in love with it. Pulsar 2849. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.